Brought to you by LivesOfTheSaints.com St. Robert Bellarmine St. Bellarmine was always learning and growing in knowledge. He was extremely disciplined when it came to his intellectual pursuits. He would read anything he could get his hands on. One of the motivations for his learning was to refute Protestant ideas of Christianity. He went as far as to learn Hebrew, all so he was able to counter the theological conclusions of a popular Protestant text of the day. During this time, the theologians and scholars didn't have the time for speculation or philosophical indulgences as they did in the past. It was the age to go back to the fundamentals of the faith, to delve into the ancient roots of the faith, to remove theological errors, and to express the eternal truths of what they knew to be the truth. St. Bellarmine has an impressive list of accomplishments. He was involved in the production of the new edition of the Latin Vulgate Bible, he helped revise the Julian calendar, and provided input into the official catechism which the Church has been publishing for centuries. This is why he is the patron saint of catechists. He served on a papal commission and became a regional superior for the Jesuit order, and was ordained a bishop and eventually consecrated a cardinal. He was a trusted advisor to several popes and narrowly avoided becoming pope himself in 1605. He eventually returned to Rome for his remaining years, where he became the Pope's right-hand man, serving him as an advisor and confidant. His last years were spent writing devotionals on prayer and on dying well. St. Bellarmine was canonized in 1930, and his feast day is September 17th.